Hey, what's up guys? Pat Gagliano here. We're at an amazing basement and we're really fortunate. We have one of our amazing designers, Gori Trivedi, with us as well. And uh, we're gonna talk about this design, how we came up with it, how we work together, and uh, you know, just in general, how it all developed. <laughs> different format. Normally we're walking you guys through the basement and we're showing you this and showing you that, but we just wanted to take a little casual approach here and uh, really kind of tell you the details of how all of this kind of took place. So in general, the way it starts always is, you know, I'm usually coming in here with Nino and we're coming up with a master plan. And uh, sometimes we're talking about that up front and mm -hmm. sometimes we're not. Sometimes, you know, that's kind of where I take over. And I, I talk about this a lot where the ma there's the master plan of the basement. And we're really fortunate in this basement because it was a large basement. Mm -hmm. It had high ceilings. Yep. Um, you know, we really didn't have a lot of obstacles, only a few columns. Right. So it, it was easy in that sense. But on the other side where you really came in is we had a big space and we just didn't want it to look like a banquet hall. We wanted right. it to feel cozy. So Nino and I came in and we did some space planning, which I don't believe you made any changes to that, no, right? No, I didn't. Yeah, so I thought I mean, you're the best at the space planning. I don't, <laughs> I, don't I don't mess with it. I really don't. <laughs> yeah, so so we're actually thank you by the way. We're actually sitting in the area when you come down the stairs to the right, uh, we created a little library. So we had the idea of the space, you know, that it would work here. I had no idea it was going to look this nice <laughs> thanks to what you did. So it really is amazing, but so the wish was really consisted of this uh sitting area. We have a bar, movie theater, and we'll talk about each room, uh gym, and I guess the main thing is the uh, open area, right? Right. I think they really wanted an open and airy feeling in the basement where the kids can run around, have their game um, sort of time, but then also have this this area that we're sitting in right now, uh, more of an adult lounge sort of feel. Too. Yeah, which which obviously you clearly accomplished. It looks fantastic. Thank you. And, and what I love too is they do have that quiet room, meaning the theater, where they can mm -hmm. actually close the door go in there and like, even if the kids are out here screaming and yelling, right. uh, you know, playing, having fun, it's yeah. not going to bother them. Right. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So general feel, it's a big basement. I think it was like almost like 2,600 square feet mm -hmm. or something like that. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so most of the space is dedicated to the open area. Mm -hmm. One thing I thought was fantastic that you did in that open area is that decorative trim wall yeah. with the, I think we have two hidden doors in it. Right. That's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Because and you could, wouldn't even tell there was a, obviously a door and that's the purpose of it. But it also brings in a little color because we did use very light um, colors throughout. But it's like a pop of color with the navy blue. Yeah. And I think we needed it because the room was so big. Right. And, and we, it, it was like all white. And then that color it was like a blue, I it's, think. It's hail navy. Hail I navy. Yes. I, that, yeah. I'm hearing that name a lot. Brooke <laughs> right. loves that yes, color. Yes, I love that color too. Yeah. So, yeah. And it looks great. It just pops. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it just we needed that, I think, in that room. Again, I worry sometimes with big open spaces that it's just too boring. Right. But clearly that's not the case here. No, nope, absolutely not. Yeah. So then in that main area, obviously it's really focused on the kids area. But we also have the bar. Right. And, and the bar really stands out because it's... Really, it doesn't feel like a kitchen, which I always worry about when we're building these right. bars. Right. I, I th we did the waterfall with the quartz yep. um, and that darker brown color, which accents, again, bringing in the sort of natural um, light and airy feeling, right? And so it, it accents that with the darker quartz, but then you have the white cabinets yep. um, to keep it light and airy. And Love it. I and you have the glass in the there. The glass. And then the backsplash, I think, is just so striking. It's like, it's neutral, but it's striking in a good way, you know? I totally agree. And I feel like it was so important because it was in that main area. So can yeah. I, kind of like anywhere in the basement, yeah. you're seeing that bar. Yeah, and I wanted it to tie in all the colors of the basement. And yeah. I think it does that really Yeah, I think, I think you nailed it perfectly. Yeah. And, and it's simple too. And in fact, like the front of the bar is not too busy. It doesn't right. have a stone or, right. but yet it's subtle, but yet has detail to it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I really love it. And uh, yeah, so that core area, even the built-ins too, right? At the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. I think that was really um, something that we, we played with, right? We wanted something that was, that looked really good when you came down, but was also purposeful. We want, we didn't want to just put boxes, but we wanted it to serve a purpose. So we put the games in there. I thought that was a great and idea. I think that it's like, you know, you can be at the bar, you can be watching, a, you know, your game, but then also people can still be sitting there 
playing, you know, I think it brings the whole cohesiveness together of, of the space. Yeah, and, and the whole idea of this project and most of our basement projects is bring the family together. Right. Like have something for everyone to do, like, you know, have friends over, relatives over, and everybody wants to have that house where I want the kids to bring their friends here. Well, this is that. We accomplished that. <laughs> they already are saying that all the kids like to come here and, and play ping Why pong. Why wouldn't you? And, you know, I want to come here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I think this, like the, the adult and then adults have their space too. And I think that, you know, we wanted that library sort of feeling in the space yeah. right next to the bar so that, you know, if the kids are playing ping pong, let's say they can still retreat to this area where it's sort of this library, very cozy with the fireplace and the stack it. stone wall. Um, yeah. But yeah, you're not removed from that area, but it's separated if exactly. they want to grab a glass of wine, come over here and sit down. Mm -hmm. The area that we're in now, yeah. really cool. Actually, I think this right here is a hidden door. It is a hidden door. Too, going in. Yep. So um, this is just, what a phenomenal setup. I mean, yeah. they got a lot of books. Yeah, they do. And that <laughs> yeah. So you want to see the door? Do I, do I even know where that door is at? Oh, is this a single or a double? Well, it's this is a, a good one because I don't even know. Where are we here? Oh, there we go. Look there at that. Go. We got the electrical service here. It's actually a double hidden door. So we have a a lock there, and we got the electrical service in here, but pretty cool, right? Probably didn't even know that the whole time we were sitting here. <laughs> I actually almost forgot. <laughs> so, no, but all, all kind of sides. So this area is really fantastic. And then um, on the opposite side, so what we tried to do here too was keep the core um, of the area open and then have the rooms like the library room, the mm -hmm. gym, the bathroom, the home theater, off to the side yeah. so the whole center was open. Right. And we ended up with a nice size gym here as well. And I think that was super important to the homeowners. They yeah. they wanted to be able to do yoga there. They and um they have a teenage son now that that lifts. So they wanted it to be a pretty decent size and I think it's it's amazing. It really is a yeah, and great it feels, size. It feels good too because it's it's glass. So it's not mm -hmm. like it's a you're going in there and working out and you feel like you're in a closet. Right. Right. It feels open to the basement yeah. but yet closed off. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. So, so what else we have there? The I guess the big takeaway is that um, movie theater. The theater is so cool. It's amazing. Um, I love. I think my favorite part in the theater is the carpet. It yeah. sort of looks like lightning, and it brings in that blue and the blacks and everything that we use throughout the space. I think, it, and of course, everything else is really good too. But I just love the carpet. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I think the theater is just, and it's kind of it's really tucked away. You almost. In this whole basement, and if you didn't know anybody, you think like, "Wow, this is a great basement." And all of a sudden, you're like, it "Keeps wow. on going." <laughs> you yeah. got that too, yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. It's pretty cool. And we got a what, full bath down here as well. Full bath with so, steam shower. Oh, that's right. I forgot about yes. steam shower. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And we did uh, like linen sort of tile, like a linen blend tile. Um, the stone in the the shower floor looks really spa like, and we sort of wanted to make that feel like a spa yeah it, and it really does picking up the colors of the basements with the browns yeah honestly really i could not be more happy with the way you decorated and designed even the moldings and stuff like that it's like you know everybody always wants to go crazy with yeah. moldings which i do love it yeah but yet it's it, i feel like it's just the right touch yeah it has to still be classy i and i the thing that i love the most is we painted the molding the same color as the wall but we did it in high gloss so it elevates the molding and it brings your attention to it, but in a really good way. It looks really luxurious because it's all like high gloss, but it's the same yeah. color as the wall. So it just yeah. pops. I'm looking up at it right yeah. now and, and it's amazing. It almost doesn't even look like it's the same color. Right, because it's, crazy. it's high gloss, but yeah. it just it pops in the right way. Yeah, yeah. but it, yet it's not overpowering yeah. where it's like we have white a walls color. and like a blue molding. Right, exactly. Yeah, I think it's great. It's it's classy. I think the best, even open stairs, those spindles that you chose. Right, and I, we painted the balusters black um, um, to sort of tie in some of the black elements because we don't have a lot of black elements in the in the basement but I wanted one sort of pop of black just to sort of bring your eye to it with and make it look really modern it's amazing I always criticize myself whenever jobs are done and I look back and I say wow this is great and and I don't share this with anybody else and I'm but in my head I'm like what would I have done different you know do, what do I like what you know to learn to get mm -hmm. better for the next one I come down here and I really don't have anything oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm being serious. I really don't. I'm like looking at, and I'm always trying to find that thing because I want to be better. No, and I do the same thing. Yeah. I do. But I, I'm really happy with this one. Um, so are the homeowners. And I think that's the biggest compliment we can ask for is, you know, they're they're super happy and proud. They, they are so space. happy. One of the things they said on the way in here, which like I got the goosebumps here and say, like Danny, the project manager. They were raving because this is harder than people think it is. to pull this off. We were mm -hmm. talking about that a little while ago. And, you know, they were just so complimentary to how good he was yeah. at making this happen and putting it together. He's amazing. 
He yes. is amazing. Absolutely and amazing. We're so grateful to have him. And uh, the whole projects. team is. The yeah. whole team well, is. Thank you. Collectively. Yeah, I appreciate Absolutely. that. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. For bringing and, me uh, on. We got more coming, guys. Really, uh, you know, give us some feedback. Let us know if you like this format of us uh, talking about the whole project, um, showing you different aspects. And, uh, you know, we, we really listen to you guys, honestly. People DM us. We get back to you. Um, it's really important to have that engagement from you guys. We have people all the time that we're talking to that don't even own a house yet. And yet we're talking to them about when they get a house, what they're going to do. We give them advice of what they should do, what they shouldn't do. And uh, as a purchase, we're there for you. So keep following us and thank you guys very much. Thank you.